Hi everyone, it's Eric. Today we're talking about my latest project, which is connecting the Raspberry Pi Pico to my solar charge controller and also my battery monitor via VE Direct. My system has a Victron BMV712 battery monitor and it has two Victron solar controllers, the MPPT25070 TR VE Cam. The reason for doing this is to gather data from my solar charge controllers and my battery monitor, which will allow me to do other programming within the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now when I'm saying Raspberry Pi Pico, I'm actually talking about the Raspberry Pi Pico W with Wi-Fi because I am using it as a web server to program an HTML page so I can see it on my network. Some of the data that I'm looking for from the battery monitor is the state of charge, the voltage, the current, um, from the solar charger, I'm looking for the voltage, and I'm also looking for the uh, current on that as well, as many other uh, parameters that are being uh, dumped into the Raspberry Pi. Before we get to the code, there is another device that I use, which is an I2C logic level converter, bidirectional module, 3.3 volts to 5 volt shifter, because the solar charge controller is 5 volts and is not 3 volts and the Raspberry Pi requires 3.3 volts and you can do damage to both the Raspberry Pi and possibly the solar charger if you don't use a logic level converter. I'll have the link to the logic level converter down below in the comments. And no, the logic level converter was not necessary for the battery monitor, um, the BMV712 it is 3.3 volts. You definitely want to verify all voltages before you connect anything to those solar chargers or the battery monitor. I now have some DIY cables connected to the solar controller and also my BMV712 battery monitor. And I'm going to go ahead and run the code. You can see what the output is. These two connections are connected to the Raspberry Pi using two different UART currently connected to pins 0 and 1 and 4 and 5. I'm trying to keep the video as a short overview. If there's interest in the programming, I'll go more in depth in the version 2. So if you want to see more of the in-depth programming, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll work on version 2 and go deep into the programming for you guys. But now, let's just look at the output. If you look at the programming towards the bottom, I have two device names, the BMV71X and the MPPT. So what's going to happen is the first set of data is going to come from the battery monitor, and the second set of data is going to come from the solar charge controller. What's happening is I'm reading in all VE Direct codes and their descriptions, and then reading in a list of codes that I want to retrieve with a device and then receiving the data from the device and then matching up the codes with the descriptions and printing those out. This now gives me more data to program with. Also be able to display the data through an HTML page going through my network and viewing on tablets, phones, um, computers, can a Raspberry Pi read data from a VE Direct connection? The answer is yes. I did it. When you're looking at the output, what you're seeing is the Victron codes, the V, V, S, C, E, S, O, C, H1, 2, 3, H16, H17. Those are Victron codes. And those can be, you can get a list of those codes from Victron's website. There's a VE Direct protocol document. I'll leave a link in the description below. When you receive data from the devices, you won't see any descriptions. So what I did for this purpose is I created a file that has the Victron codes and associated descriptions. And then I go ahead and then did a simple matching of codes and outputting the descriptions. Make it a little bit more readable. If you've seen some of my other videos with the Raspberry Pi doing the auto generator, start and stop, the street light functions, the data inputs to the Servo GX. 
along with reading data from the Victron components. This can give me the ability to finally work on a more permanent wiring and circuit board configuration for all of the projects that I'm combined into one feeding this Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's start looking at the wiring. Again, you need to be very careful. Make sure you check the voltages of the devices, the VE Direct devices that you're using. Because I'm reading data from the solar charge controller and it has a 5 volt output on the VE Direct cable connection, I had to use the 4 channel logic level converter going from 3 volts to 5 volt shifter. So basically what you're doing is you're feeding 3 volts in from one side of the Raspberry Pi Pico, you're feeding the 5 volts from the solar controller to the high side of the logic converter. This powers both sides of the logic converter and allows it to do the shift from the voltage from 5 volts to 3 volts. So when you're looking at my wiring you can see the MPPT uh, VE direct connector going to the high side and you can see the low side is going to the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you look at the uh, pinout of the Raspberry Pi Pico um, this is a spreadsheet pinout of the Raspberry Pi Pico and if you see the boxes where it says 0, 1, 2, 3, and f these are the UART ports. You can use any one of these if you're going to use the UART to read data from these devices like I did. And yes you can just use two wires in order to do this, the transmit and the receive wires, but then you're going to still need an external 5 volt power supply for like my MPPT, and that's another component I didn't want to add at this point. If you like the video, please hit the like, hit that subscribe if you want to see the next video. Have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. If you want to see uh, part two um, more into the programming, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'll see if there's enough interest to put a part two on this one. Uh, if not, I'll see you on the next video.